Neve, welcome along to the signing for the next two and a half years. Um, our second kind of winter signing, along with uh, Kayla Miki and so far. Um, Neve, you've been at a P-Mount player for 10 years or so um, as a young girl, and now you're making the move for pro contract to Glasgow City. How does it feel to sign for the club? Yes, um, very exciting. Obviously, as you said, I've been, been with P-Mount for, for so long. But um, I think it's the right time and it's the right move. And Glasgow are a great, um, a great club. So um, I'm really excited to to start my pro, um, my pro career at Glasgow. Now, how does it feel? You know, first pro contract, and I've mentioned to one or two other players that, you know, maybe ten years ago that thing was probably a lot harder to come about. Now it's, you know, the, the way the football's changed in the women's game. You now, as someone in your early twenties, can now play pro football. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I was only saying to my parents a few weeks ago, I said like. When I was younger, I never thought like that would be a thing for like a woman's player to even be a professional when you're like what, like a few years ago. Um, it was very hard to, to come by, I suppose. But now, yeah, there's bigger opportunities for girls and it's great. And um, for me to obviously get get the chance at 21 to, to sign a pro deal, it's um, it's a dream, really. Yeah. And how did the approach come um, from Glasgow City to, for you to make the move here? Um, so it was actually kind of after the, the game that we... Um, that we played in the first round of the Champions League, the qualifier um, against Glasgow. And uh, I was talking to, to, to Claire to shine after um, after the game and stuff and just kind of how she was getting on and stuff like that. And then uh, I got a, a call from Glasgow saying that they're looking to sign me. So um, obviously I had to weigh up, up options and stuff like that. But to be honest, it was a no-brainer when, um, when, they, came, when they came looking. Absolutely. And yeah, I was going to touch on that that, that Champions League game um, a couple of months or so back now. Um, and there's a game where, I guess, if you're putting your P-Mount hat back on for a minute, that was a game where I think that even the press here gave a lot of credit to P-Mount that night. And on paper, it's a, a game where Glasgow City were overwhelmed favourites, but you and, and the back line particularly held off fairly well, had a couple of moments in attack too. Um, that, was, that was some performance that night, ultimately just ending out in penalty shout. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, obviously, we were going over as underdogs, which was which was kind of different for us because, um, you like in the Irish League here, we're we're usually favourites to win a lot of games, so it was a different feeling going in. Um, but yeah, I think we we performed well on the night. Um, we obviously knew Glasgow were a top top team, um, and just I suppose maybe maybe looked in and go our way at the at the at the end with the penalties. But um, yeah, no, definitely it was a good game, and I think uh, we had a good game plan. Um. Against the uh, against a good team, we knew we knew uh, the threats that Glasgow had, um, so we we tried to keep them out as long as we could, and and we did that. Yeah, absolutely, and it may well have been obviously some people on the on, on the Scottish press side and people talk about City maybe didn't quite perform to their full potential on that night. But what was it like playing against some of those players? I know you've talked about Clare Shine, you know, there's one or two Irish uh, players in in the City squad, but what was it like playing against you know players of experienced Scottish internationals, for example? Yeah, I thought um like obviously the scoreline you can see at the end it was it was nil nil, but I, I did feel like in the game um did that be a higher intensity the way they moved the ball. Um you can see the technical difference um between the players who are obviously uh us and them who who were kind of playing week in, week out, professional players, you can see the difference and the the, the higher standard. Like yeah, yeah, we matched them in defending and, and we did um and we did do great that day, but um, yeah, no, definitely, I could see, um, I could see the difference. You touched on uh, P Mount being there for ten years. It's a club that's kind of shaped you as a footballer. Um, and we've talked about the Champions League game there. I guess it was a nice way and a fitting way for you to end your time at the club with the kind of success the club's had in recent years, particularly in the last you know few weeks and months with the cup with the cup recently, which ultimately ended with a double. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, um. I think we we it was the first time in the club's history that they'd done the domestic double, so um, it was a good way to go out. Um, but they've been great for me. Um, obviously, I went in there when I was like 11, 12, and went up the ranks. Um, and obviously, I got the chance to to play for Ireland because because of Pima, because of um the way they can I suppose showcase uh, young Irish talent. Um, so yeah, it was a good way to end, and um, I think it's the right time um to move on. Um. But yeah, I'll always be uh, I'll always be a P Mount at heart. Yeah, and um, you touched on there. You you have become an, an Irish international. 
how much do you think the move to the Glasgow City to Scotland to a league which um, is getting even more competitive here um, will help you in your quest for more international football? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, when I go into the squad, there's not many um, amateurs um, that, that are called into the squad. Um, there's the most of them are playing professional. And I think for me to get to that next level, to um, to really make my mark at international level, I need to be playing uh, week in, week out. I need to be training uh, in a professional environment. And uh, yeah, I think this move, it, it will help. Um, and hopefully I can I can just get better and learn off uh, learn off the girls that are, that are here in Glasgow. Yeah, and you will have at least a bit of a helping hand with you mentioned Claire Shine, Tyler Tolan here as well. You know, Irish teammates. Um, Glasgow City has a history of you know very good Irish players. Denise Sullivan, to name you know one of many that have kind of played at the club. Kate McKay has been around too, and a few others that have have donned the Irish jersey as well as playing for City. So uh, will that will they help kind of you acclimatising um, into the into the squad? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I was chatting to Claire and, and Tyler um, before I signed, and um, they had great things to say. And obviously, I was I was chatting also to to Katie and uh, to Denise in in the Ireland camp, and uh, they only had uh, the best words for for the team and for the club. So, um, yeah, no, definitely that'll help. You know, just little things. If you just have to ask questions, um, with the girls, um, I'm sure they'll they'll help me settle in very well. Yeah, and we touched on you playing on some of the playing against some of the experienced players like so well, Leanne Crichton, and Leanne Ross, Joe Love, with so many you know, Scotland caps, Leanne Zander, to name a few. Now you're me in that environment too, and they've been you know players that are hungry to win, keep on winning. As as I said, the, the title race is going to be really tough this year. And um, how quickly will do you think you'll get into that mindset? I know you're used to that in recent times with Pima. How are you going to easily fit into that psyche very quickly come January when you join the squad? Yeah, definitely. I would hope so. I'd love to think myself as a winner. Um, I'm here to to help the team as much as I can. And uh, obviously, as you're saying, there's so much um, experienced players and I really just want to learn from them and um, hopefully improve my game, which will, will hopefully improve the team um, and bring more success to the club. So, yeah, definitely. It's it's exciting times. Yep. And uh, first up, the first match after the winter break is, is Celtic away. And there's a few away games in that first um, phase or the next phase of the season. So um, I guess you'll be looking forward to getting up to full speed for, for a big game off the, the end of a couple of big games before the winter break. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously for me, I'm, I'm finished my season now. So it was a long, a long season, to be honest. But for the last, um, I'll obviously have a little break now and uh, hopefully I'll uh, I'll be raring to go then um, come January. Um, and obviously, it's, it's a huge game against Celtic. So um, I'll be looking forward to it. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And um, well, certainly, I think all the Glasgow City supporters will be looking forward to seeing you. Just finally, um, not, well, they haven't seen any football in real life. They've watched TV, streaming or, or followed us on socials. Just a little message for them as, as you join the club. Yeah, um, I'm just just want to say that I'm delighted to be here, um, to be a Glasgow City player. And... Uh, I just want to tell them that I'll give it my all for, for Glasgow and uh, I'll leave everything on the pitch and I'll work as hard as I can to, to help the team um, continue to be as successful as it is. OK, well, we wish you all the best when you arrive and uh, hopefully successful things to come with you here. Thanks a million, Callum. Thank you.